Hi, I'm Megan Zetta with Launch Code. We are here at Infocom 2023. It's the last day. We have the pleasure of speaking with Jeffrey Platt, who is the host of Launch Code's ET Insights. How's the show been for you so far? Megan, it's been incredible. The, the show has been huge this year. There are so many exhibitors, it's hard to even keep up with what's going on. Yeah, it feels like we're really back this year, huh? Yeah, we are definitely back full swing. Uh, it, the attendance has been phenomenal. And just the exhibitors, again, the whole floor is just packed. There's an amazing amount of technology here. So we sent you on the hunt to check out virtual production solutions, but before we get into some specific solutions you've seen, let's talk about some trends you've seen. And you know, for us, we've been talking about virtual production for a while, for others it's new. So for those who are a little more advanced, what's something new that's trending? I think people have been putting a lot more focus in the workflows of virtual production and products have been becoming more and more refined to make it a lot more easy for people to actually get into virtual production. Uh, and we're seeing a lot of uh, kind of advancements and enhancements within some of the game engines and the way the game engines interconnect with some of the different technology providers. And one of the things we talked about off Krama was tracking trends. So tell us a little bit about that. Tracking trends um, are, are becoming much, much more advanced. There's a lot of uh, companies that are starting to focus more on passive tracking solutions. So. There's been some really interesting advancements in 3D LiDAR and 3D LiDAR based technologies that are coming into play, um, along with a lot more of the kind of the more passive related tracking systems. So let's get into some of the cool products that you've seen on the show floor. What are some things that really have impressed you? So I was just recently introduced to what's going on at Leontronics, and their virtual production stage is so good that when you shoot it with your camera, it looks like it's actually been um, pre-composed and you swear that it's it's not a virtual production stage. So it's really, really cool. There's been a lot of virtual production stages on the show floor. Have you seen any cool LED volumes at any of the LED manufacturers? Absolutely. Uh, Absent's always kind of been at the forefront and they've got a really, really cool demo. Uh, they've also been working with 4Wall and been doing uh, sessions occasionally. Uh, and panel discussions, doing kind of more educational talks on what virtual production is, how it works, some of the technologies and the things that are being used there. So I'd say Absence knocked it out of the park. Yeah, I can't wait to get back and review all the videos because I've been kind of in a blur during the show here. But if people want to learn more about virtual production, they can actually watch ET Insights. So tell them a little bit about the show. So ET Insights is a show that's happening monthly. We're interviewing different technologists. We're bringing in different experts inside of these fields. And it's uh, very educational. It's very informative. And yeah, it'd be great to have more people come and watch it. Yeah, I'm excited about that. It just launched in May, so be sure to check it out. We have two episodes up so far, another one coming soon, and that is going to be on launchcode.com. If besides watching the show on launchcode.com, if people want to connect with you, where can they find you? I think the best place would be LinkedIn, so just type in Jeffrey with a G plat, and you'll find me there. Awesome, and for all of the latest emerging tech news and all of the episodes of ET Insights, head to launchcode.com.